The Quit Forest rally continued today in the Western Australian forests surrounding Manor. Wet and slippery conditions greeted the competitors for heat two. Victorian Simon Evans in the Toyota Racing Development Corolla won heat one and took the lead on stage one and continued to dominate throughout the day. Clean and neat and just try to get the car through it, you know, and obviously we're trying to stay ahead of the pack as well, so everyone's a lot closer today to be expected with the slippery conditions and you know, it's making a great race and it's an awesome challenge. But the man on the move is Ford Pertec driver Michael Guest. He started the day down here in the best of the world. It's one of the first forest days to the spur of pickles. But about two kilometres from the end of the stage, the Ford crew could smell fuel, and then at the stop point, this happened. It was a shocker, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh, quick. To the fire. I don't know. We haven't got a car, Jip. Don't go yet. We've got to get out, out of the control. The fuel's leaking. Quick, get I'll jump out. It's a car. Yeah, a little bit character building this morning. Um, that first stage, Brockman, uh, about two kilometres from the finish, started to get a really bad fuel smell in the car to the point where it was like, making our eyes water and uh, got to the end of the control, got out of the control and then just fuel everywhere in the car to get out. I couldn't breathe and, and um, we, we hunted for the fuel. It couldn't find it. I thought, I'll just start the engine see where it is and then bang, the whole thing's on fire. So we had this huge fire at the front of the car and luckily there was a marshal there with a fire extinguisher which in touring car racing, that's right, in the forest you don't generally have that, so really grateful for that guy, whoever he is, and, and uh, we put it out, and as it turned out, it was a fuel hose that actually unwound itself, so wound that back on, cranked it up, got fuel pressure and went through, and I think we were second fastest in the last stage, so. Just continued on, and on the next three stages, set the second fastest stage time, and he moves in the second overall. Right five, become long right four and a half, Long right four and a half, stay in. Neil Bates in the S2000 Corolla is in third place. He finished third in heat one and is looking like repeating that result today. A third today will put him on the podium with his teammate. Driver Dean Herrick was suffering from some serious mental problems. He finished second in this race, but the best he could do after five stages is fourth overall. The other four fields were on the edge. Driver Dan Windus luckily escaped from this detour. Last year's Western Australian Rally Champion, Alex Stone, was performing well against the top Australian crews. He's in position six. 